Yeah, it's that time of year where you want to get your crop in before the frost that's coming 24 hours from now. Out in St. Adolf, Clint Moss has been moving quickly to clear the pumpkin patch, even hiring his son's hockey team to come in and help. Basically, I think we have a great crop of pumpkins, nothing like we had last year, which was, I would say, twice a normal crop. So maybe it's a little bit of a letdown. Uh, we, nor we just narrowly missed some frost. You know, others had it. Now you actually can see that the frost has come through here. Some of the leaves have started to die, but thankfully Clint's pumpkins, well, they're mostly okay. But just a few kilometers north of here, another farmer isn't so happy with his crop. For all the porcelain dolls, they should be a larger size and they should be pink. It was a terrible year, a terrible year. We lo we've, Mother Nature was not kind to us this year. For the past few years, Stan Soltes has earned the name the Pink Pumpkin Man after growing specialty pumpkins and selling them in support of breast cancer research at Cancer Care Manitoba. Last year's crop raised almost $7,000. We were late planting the seeds, uh, and then the first, the first portion of June was terrible, and so this, the plants didn't start sprouting until mid-June, so we lost that three, four weeks, and that is why our pink pumpkins are almost pink. <laughs> they're, not, they're not as pink as they should be. A frost fear in mid-September also forced an early harvest. Still, Stan and his family have set up in the parking lot of St. Vitel Mall with various squash and pumpkins for sale. We hope that they understand that the, the pumpkins are what they are and just remember that, the, that it's the cause. From the parking lot to the garden center, the pumpkins are still popping up. Today we kind of heard that there might be a little bit of a lacking in pub, uh, pumpkin sources that are out here. So what we've done is we've kind of investigated with some of the farmers or some of our suppliers to see what's happening. And what they're saying is there might be a local shortage of pumpkins. However, this shop owner says if the local supply runs out, the price could change. Then we'll be sourcing outside. Most of our pumpkins then will probably be coming in from BC and areas where they haven't been affected with the weather. As iconic as the black cat at Halloween, the pumpkin is popular right through October, coming in as Thanksgiving pies and end-of-month jack-o'-lanterns. You know, now it's getting to be the same as a Christmas tree in Christmas. Um, if you're doing any celebration of Halloween, you're going to want to have a pumpkin. For Breakfast Television, I'm Natalie Geddes.